All right, so you guys, here we are, hole number seven. Wind straight in the face here. So typically what I'll tr what I like to do is get up to this left hand side, um, especially in the second tee box. However, this isn't the best wind for doing that. It's not very easy to get it over there, but if you can, you can give yourself a really straight wind angle. So let's see how this plays out. Everything looked pretty good, but I didn't get to see a spin. It's almost a little bit too much spin. You don't usually want to stop it quite that short. But all in all, should be okay. Well, mainly with those headwinds, you don't want to stop it that short. <laughs> I'm thinking somewhere around here, we just go into a little bit of power, just a little bit of curl. Actually, this is going to be a little bit more than a little bit of power. Maybe worth switching up to the apocalypse. So you can see more or less what I'm trying to do there. We're almost about half power. Another thing I could do is I could do apocalypse. What this will do is it should provide me enough to get around this tree just barely. Um, and that's why you do kind of got to get just a little bit aggressive with, with how far you get that out there. Because there's only a certain amount that will get you beyond that tree. But it should give me a good wind angle heading into the hole. As opposed to, you know, and one of the things you don't want to do is, pro is is what you see my opponent doing. This is just a little bit too aggressive. It's much better to put it up here with a little bit of backspin, a little bit of control, one or like one to two bars. Um, very tough to pull off the, the aim zone that he's going to. Um, more times than not, you'll see guys clip the rough on their second bounce when they try this. Great ball just end up blocking it out to the right. <clears throat> So what you should be able to see here, you know, we did get it to, it's, it's you know, close to, close to min club it's in the ballpark. As I mentioned, you can usually come in at the hole a little bit better on this side. So I'm thinking somewhere around here looks pretty good. Shouldn't even need much curl here at all. And this is maybe just a little inside one per ring. So I'm thinking somewhere around 10 rings here for this nine adjustment, nine wind. Caught a great ball, I may end up leaking it. But no, pretty good. Um, and as you can see, relatively straightforward. Something you can definitely work on getting dialed in as well. That's one of the biggest reasons to go that way it's just very consistent off that side back hill. So um, you'll get much more consistent results. Um, definitely worth recommend going over there. Hopefully you guys you know, can get that one to drop. And uh, good luck. I'll see you on the next one.